Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today we're going to be checking out the M2R Warrior flashlight, tactical flashlight. Probably my new favorite flashlight and Olight has actually teamed up with us to give one of these away to anybody who wins the contest and all you have to do to enter the contest is like the video, share, comment and of course you have to be a subscriber. So pretty simple rules. I really like the form factor of this thing. I'm looking over some of the other Olight flashlights that I own that are kind of in this size range and so you have the Olight Javelot which is a throwing flashlight so this is going to throw that light very far it's pretty large so you can't necessarily put this in your pocket it's not necessarily a pocketable flashlight I mean you could if you have big cargo pockets but it's not very comfortable just because of its awkward shape then of course there's probably my favorite Olight flashlight ever made, it's the Olight H2R Nova and I like it of course because it's an angle head flashlight. It of course has onboard charging as well, this one is actually 2200 lumen so a very bright flashlight but it's pure floodlight. It also doubles as a headlamp, by far one of the most versatile capable Olight flashlights. Then of course we have the Olight R50 Seeker Pro which is of course rechargeable. This is a 3500 lumen flashlight I believe. So very large but uh, similar in terms of the height of these other flashlights. Still as pocketable perhaps as the Javelot but it's getting quite thick right. This is kind of the Rook. This is the Bishop. And I guess this, I'm not really sure what this is. Maybe this is the Knight of all flashlights but I really like this flashlight because of the size it's the perfect size to put in your pocket you can use it as a kubaton it doesn't have that crenellated bezel that we're used to like with something like really aggressive like this uh, javelot here it's just really some protrusions it's definitely one of the most pocketable lights it fits really nicely into my proper lightweight tactical cell phone pocket as you can see there it has this hexagonal shape which is for roll stop as some um, modest heat dissipation ridges it's uh, just a very streamlined design so I like that about it it has this recessed tail switch and of course it has another switch and you use these two switches interchangeably in order to achieve various levels of brightness in order to determine what mode the flashlight's on when uh, you press the tail switch. And of course, this is actually rechargeable. And that's one of the coolest features of most of these modern Olight flashlights is that they have that tail cap rechargeable feature, which is just pure awesome sauce. This is the Zendir A8, probably one of the best battery packs on the market, just an FYI, free plug for them there. But yeah, man, Olight just makes kick-ass flashlights. They're always bringing some new innovation into the user interface, which other companies simply don't think about. The thing that makes it tactical is basically to have a tail switch because this is easy to find in the dark. And it's usually, if you're a person who uses a handgun, of course, it's gonna be very compatible with that, right? I don't have a handgun, I only use long guns. But this mounts well to a long gun as well. I'm just waiting for my shotgun mount to come so I can put this thing on there. Now on turbo mode, this flashlight can do a maximum of 1500 lumens using that Cree XHP 35 LED. Very bright, very powerful, very efficient flashlight. It can hold that turbo mode for three minutes for up to 120 minutes. So usually that means after three minutes, it gets too warm. In my test, I never had it stepped down. Mind you, I've only used it over a few minutes. I always try to use the turbo mode sparingly just because. But what I found with this light is it really is, of all of the lights I've owned so far, I'd have to say that this one is the perfect amount of light, which is the perfect blend of flood and throw. The actual LED is recessed in there significantly enough that that's going to allow it to project a relatively long distance but as you can see there's an orange peel reflector in there and what that does that just sort of breaks up the parabola so it 
can diffuse the light a bit more. So it's throwing the light, but at the same time it's diffusing it. What I found is that the beam of the light is very smooth. So it's almost like a perfect circle of light. There's no spillover and no transition into the darkness. It really targets that light in one direction. It's the perfect amount of light for close quarters, for long range. It's just a really darn good light. Like for an all around light, which is going to pretty much do most things you want it in a tactical sense, this M2 Warrior is pretty much where it's at. Now, obviously the Olight H2R is more versatile. You can use it as a headlamp. You probably could this one as well, but this one is much lighter. And of course it has that angle head light like that so you can they give you a strap with this by the way still probably my favorite light in terms of practical functionality but this uh, when I'm working nights if I work nights I don't work nights anymore but if I was working nights this would be my go-to flashlight it's just the perfect amount of light it's enough to blind somebody so you can program and customize the light that comes out of the tail switch in a variety of ways I'm not going to get into the details of how you do it it's all in the instructions but basically the, the mode I like the most is you have this momentary on and if you long press it you get the strobe so you get your momentary on if you just kind of hold it semi depressed and then if you push it in all the way you get your strobe and then it automatically turns off so you can also of course program it back like that so now it's permanently on so I don't have to actually keep pressing it and then I would just hold it again and press it now it's back in that strobe mode so pretty cool so they give you one of these old light 18650 high discharge current batteries ingress protection 8 all the rest so if you want one of these guys go through the link in the description if you want any of the other lights of the old light family that i discussed uh, go check them out i've done reviews on most of these flashlights you can look them up on the channel or you can just look them up on youtube and support the other content creators out there should also add that it does come with this very sturdy clip that you can clip down that way or that way so it works good but like most uh, Olight clips always very sturdy what else does it come with yeah it comes with the recharging system you don't have to recharge it like that you can recharge just the battery and put it back in there there's not much more else to say about it I mean you get your 60 lumens for 20 hours which was a hell of a lot of lumens if you're just in your tent at night that's gonna last you days upon days on end or you have your 15 lumens for 70 hours so as usual comes in the standard sleek Olight packaging. If you remember the late Marshall from Going Gear who passed away recently, he always spoke very highly about Olight. He went and he visited their factory there. He actually met one of the reps that I work with. And so we kind of had a mutual acquaintance there. I never actually got to meet the guy, but rest in peace, Marshall. So don't forget to enter the contest. Stay tuned because for every flashlight we do, with Olight now, we're going to be giving one away. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and comment to get your name in the draw. Canadian Prepper out.